Hello and welcome to the first video in my new series Hobby Tips and Tricks. In this short video I'm going to be showing you how to make your own snow effect using just four simple items that you probably already have lying around the house. Now I know that there are a lot of options out there for making your own snow. There's some that you can already buy like the Citadel texture paint and there's also things like snow flock and, and other bits and pieces. Now I've tried several of these and what I've always tried to, to look for is something that gives a very realistic freshly fallen snow effect and what I'm going to show you today is the one that I think does this the best. So let's hit the table and I'll see you in a couple of minutes. So the first thing you're going to need is a small container in which you're going to mix your snow and I've chosen to use just a little plastic shot glass. I think you get these from the pound shop. The second thing you're going to need is a toothpick for doing your mixing and application. You're going to need some good old fashioned PVA glue. And finally, you're going to need some talc. So all we're going to do is take your PVA glue and squeeze it into your container. doesn't help when it's blocked there we go and then you're going to add roughly the same amount of talc to the pot you want about a 50 50 mix but it doesn't matter if it doesn't go quite right because you can always add more of the talc if it's too sticky or you can have more glue if it goes too dry <laughs> And try not to inhale it when you do it. Uh, so all you're going to do is mix this together with your toothpick and you can see it's all starting to bind into well a big white snotty mess really but I promise you it's going to look good when it's on your miniatures. So once you've got it to kind of this consistency where it will cling to the toothpick without falling off you're ready to start playing so i've got this base here that i've started working on for a future project um obviously all i've done so far is the rocks and the grass just so that i could show you this technique so all you're going to do is take your toothpick Get a nice big dollop on there and you're just going to apply it onto the rocks and let it drip and fall naturally to begin with. But then you can start spreading it out until you get the desired effect and the desired coverage. And just put little bits on because it can kind of look like the the snow starting to melt and what you can also do is get some little bits and just catch the edges of the tufts because you know what it's like when you when it first starts snowing and you see shrubbery and grasses and it just gets gathered on the tips like this There we go. And then the next step, if you want to make it look like really freshly fallen snow, is to take a bit of talc in your hand. And while your mixture is still wet, you're just going to sprinkle it over the top. And it doesn't matter if you sprinkle it anywhere else because you're going to you're going to do your Taylor Swift in a minute. So, once you've got that everywhere you want it, you can just give it a little tap. You can blow on it a little bit to get rid of the excess. And then what you're left with is this fresh snow look round here. 
and then on the back here where the talc has set it just makes the the rock look a little bit frosty and there you go so there you have it it really is as simple as that so now you can create your own winter wonderlands and as an added bonus all of your bases and terrain will smell absolutely lovely now if you liked this video please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing so that you can be made aware of when i release new content uh, and before I sign off, I want to give a really big shout out to Paul Grogan over at the Gaming Rules channel um, for all the support he's been giving me in getting this channel started. He even designed and created my little intro video for me, so I'm really grateful for that. If you're a board gamer and you want to see some amazing rules videos and game playthroughs, please head over to his channel and offer him support. He's, he's such a great guy. So I'll be back on Saturday uh, with my next complete basing video. So until then, happy hobbying.